Hi all, wanted to make a quick video about DV's lab. DV's lab has been falling for the last couple of days. So let's go ahead and look at DV's lab on the charts and how they look. Before I proceed, I would like to mention that this is an educational channel. All views expressed over here are for educational purposes only. So do not make or take any positions based on the views expressed over here. With that said, let's begin. So as you can see on my screen, I've got the DV's lab daily chart open. Uh, as you can see, the fall, it's, it's, it had a lifetime high of about 5,431 and from there it's been falling. So what do we do about DV's lab at its current level of 3,271? The first thing that we should do is go from the daily level to the weekly level. So we have done that. Then let's draw a, a Fib, uh, Fibonacci retracement from the lows of 2020 till to its lifetime high and see what we arrive at so this will be the about the low approximately there we'll draw go to an all-time high so what we get to see is it is broken down from the Fib levels of 0.23 is broken down 0.38. It's also broken down 0.5, which is significant. And now it is heading towards 0.61, which is this line over here. I'll draw a horizontal line because I think this is a very important line. Okay, so the 0.61 is lying over there. All right. As you can see now, it will only need to travel about 200 odd points to go to that level of 0.61. But will it go there? That's my question. Now we'll use a very interesting tool, which will be the Fibonacci spread resistance fan. All right. So we will again try to locate the lows of 2020 and from there we'll go to its all-time high which is somewhere over here now when we do that we see that somewhere over here which is at 2360 i'll draw another horizontal line all right there's a touch point so somewhere between 3076 and 3260 I think is a good point buying but we'll reconfirm that with another tool so let's get rid of this and let's get rid of the Fibonacci also so okay one second we need that level right so that level is this the touch point is this okay so let that be there we we'll get rid of the other things so so what we get to know is this is a good zone to buy all right now we will draw a triangle because two indicators have shown that this is a good zone to buy all right let's uh, make that a little darker so that we get to know where it is okay so this is a good zone to buy now we'll use a third indicator just to reconfirm and we'll use something called um, a gun fan all right again we'll go to 2000 low click on it and click on the high so the gun fan also indicates that this touch point but maybe a little lower you know somewhere over here there's a touch point if it continues falling in the current month in this particular bar then the touch point is somewhere over here somewhere in between the above two all right so now let's get rid of this con indicator and give this uh, center line another color so that we get to know what color it is and what is the level all right we'll give this a line green color no let's make it a little more evident oh. 
Okay, let's go with the reddish kind of color. So that point is 3260, which is nothing but about 90 rupees away from where the stock currently is. Now, with the help of these three indicators, I am fairly confident to say that the point at which DVs we should start accumulating has already started. And that is the level it's currently sitting at. All right. It's very unlikely that DVs will fall below 3,076. Uh, 3, Let's say 3,000 on a round note figure. It's very unlikely that DVs will fall below 3,000. All right. Because if it falls below 3,000, then there's no proper support till it reaches over here. That is 2,450. If DVs continues to fall below 3,000, then it will arrive at about 2,490 or say a round figure of 2,500. All right. So then it will see another 500 rupee fall, which I don't think it will have. I don't think that's likely. So if Divis is not going to see another 500 rupee fall, then the start point for accumulating Divis has already started from the current level it is in. One should start accumulating Divis from 2,700, 2,000, sorry, from 3,270 odd levels and add more to Divis at every 10 or 20 rupee fall. So if it falls another 10 rupee, add another 5, 6 stocks. If it falls another 10 rupees, add another 5, 6 stock or whatever your capacity is. But from its current levels, it's wise to add DVs at every fall. And I don't think there will be significant fall from current levels. I don't think DVs will go down below 3100 or 3000 levels. So that will be my take on DVs. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Click on the bell icon so that you're updated every time a new video is posted. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.